All right, one up. So, so I think you can get snakes. I swear you can get. Yes, I'm trying to punch solid snake. Weird as that may seem. It looks more like Raiden's doing a bitch slap than a punch. Is that just me? I think Raiden's a slapper. I, I don't think I'm hitting him. Oh, I hit him. Oh, we cool. Anyway, so the reason I'm trying to do this is I'm trying to knock him out. Mom said knock you out. Because I, I'm sure he's got a dog tag. And I'm sure the dog tag actually says solid snake. I could be wrong. Maybe it says Pliskin. Pliskin. I said that with like such contempt. Hang on, let's get the map whilst we're here. Helps to have a map. But yes, the fact is, I don't remember. Uh, but I think he does. Uh, so yeah, let's just keep flacking him, I suppose. But yes, anyway, the chair. I broke the other chair. I, I didn't even really do anything. I'm not that fat, I swear to God. It just like... I think I was leaning over to get to my mini fridge or something, and it just went... Krunk, and then, uh, yeah. The, uh, the screw that like attaches it to the bottom popped out. So now the chair, the part that you sit on, the flat, like, off... Three days later. So it's just like tipping me out of the chair. It's awkward. Anyway, let's beat the shit out of Snake. Oh my God, he shot me! <laughs> Oh no, I think I'm bleeding now. Oh crap. Well, uh... Hang on a minute, I'm... I could be wrong. I swear there's like a way of recovering from ble... Hang on, look at that, my health going up. I knew it. <gasps> We're not bleeding anymore. Oh my god, I'm so glad I remembered that. Okay, beautiful. Right, so there we go. We fixed the bleeding issue. Um... I'm trying to knock you out. I need your dog tag, man. All right, you know what? <laughs> Maybe we should just... <laughs> so, obviously, at some point, we're going to get some kind of tranquilizer weapon, right? Because, I mean, we don't have anything like that right now. We know we can do a deathless run or a, a no-kill run. I keep going deathless. We can do a no-kill. Oh, my God, Snake, what the shit? Ah! I'm, like, permanently aggroed solid Snake. <laughs> Maybe he'll go back to sleep if we leave him. Let's, uh, let's do that. I don't know if there's ghosts in this game, by the way. I, I know I didn't show you any from the first game. By the way, if you haven't joined the Discord, I have a Discord. Uh, I will link it in the video description. Normally I don't, but, uh, this one time I will do so. And you can join the Discord. Oh my god, he's still trying to bloody shoot me. Also, I don't know where we have to go. Uh. What's up with that? Does that do anything at all? I don't think it does anything. That's, that's weird. So, uh, well, anyway, seems like we've got two different paths to go down, so I suppose we'll go here first. Let's... Uh, you know what? No, actually, let's try not to pop rations when we don't have to, because we know that's... Wait a minute. Oh. I could shoot the shit out of him, but I don't know if that's a good idea. If we get stun grenades, maybe we can knock him out like that. And the fact that there's Konami eyes on these things, that's also another thing that leads me to believe that's probably developers I feel like it's a little creepy if they're only oh my god he's still trying to shoot me he's still aggroed over there on the map like what the hell you could see me through the walls what a chad yeah anyway uh the, the fact that they're only uh female pictures is weird if they are developers like what's where are the where are the males at you know what I'm saying I mean I'm not like I don't I don't need half naked pictures of males but also the ladies are not half naked again as it would be weird, right? I mean, I suppose it's... Hang on. Is he de-aggroed now? Is he back to sleep? I suppose it's possible, right? You know? You could be like, so look. I mean, whoever's in charge of the pictures. Maybe they could go like, look, love. You worked on this game. We want to put you in the game as an Easter egg. And she might be like, oh, that's awesome. What was that noise? What was that noise? Oh, I heard it again. What? Is there a bomb around here somewhere? Oh. It certainly sounds like it, but apparently I can't figure out what the hell it is. So... At some point very soon, we have to find bombs. And it sounds like there's one around here. But apparently I'm damned if I can find it. Whatever. Anyway, um, let's check this other path back here really quick. 
So I'm getting distracted. So uh, the, the pictures of the uh, the female developers. I mean, I suppose you could be like, so yeah, we want to put you in the game. Do you happen to have a picture of you in your lingerie? And you know, some of them might be okay with that. But at the same time, I feel like you'd probably get in trouble uh, for sexual harassment if you asked your colleague for a, a picture of them in their underwear so you could put them in the game. Maybe not back in 2001 when you could do this. But these days, yes. His hair looks like a wig. Just throwing that out there. Like, that is dre that's a dreadful cut. That looks like he's been in quarantine and had to do it himself. That's the president, I think. Oh, I remember who you what are. Who is that? Can't remember her name. Come, put me out of my misery. But you this notice they can't hit her. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Fortune, there you go. Yes, yeah, so she's basically Domino from Deadpool. That was her name, right? You know, the lucky chick, the opposite of Kenny from South Park. I don't remember why he calls her queen. Don't let them take the president. I don't think he's simping, but he could be, you know. I don't blame him. Ready grenades. That guy sounds like Raiden. A dud. <laughs> A dud. See, I could be a voice actor. I can do this. I can deliver these shitty lines. <laughs> I mean, these are extras, right? Like, they're not the main voice cast. They're just... They're random soldiers. Today is another bad day. Oh, yeah, she is has a railgun. So I don't remember, so this isn't a spoiler, but it certainly sounds like she wants to die, doesn't it? I guess that's what she meant by a bad day. Like, for her? Seems like a bad day for them as well, though. That man, not fortune. So you've met two of the members of Dead Cell. I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. I can't remember who the hell has the whole bunk thing going on. I don't think it's her or Vamp, but I could be wrong. I'm sweating like a mother effer. That's gross. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? He sounds Both so concerned. The bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? I oh, do. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. Wait, what? If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> oh, the fish. We've had to adjust the mission objectives. Yeah. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over See? the big shell. That's what we heard, but the I couldn't find it. Can wait, but this can't. 
Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before <laughs> I go. Sounds like a scolded child. Quick. Understood. Dead cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too, it's it's like it's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Like one of my Japanese animes. And you, Rose, I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Yeah, bitch. Life, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Okay, so. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. <laughs> Are you two done? <laughs> right. Don't let your dreams be dreams. You're needed on Strut C. Yeah, right, in your giant vagina. Alright, so first of all, a couple of things. When he said the, the hostages could be in danger, I'm like, are you having a laugh, mate? Of course they could be in danger. They're bloody hostages. Like, this man's high as hell. Second of all, a lot of what they were talking about there... Oh my god, I can't pick these up. <laughs> a lot of what they were talking about there with, like, the, um... A dream and blah 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 and nothing seems real and there's a vampire. The game is very intentionally surreal. Like it's it's meant to be creepy and weird and unsettling. So yes, men, women. I think much like the first game, and I actually didn't I didn't know this at the time, but there is an Easter egg in the. What in the shit was that noise? Was it the hand dryer? Oh, it was, okay. I thought there was like a ghost or something, man! Like, honestly, it scared the shit out of me! It was like, ah! If something is new to you, who are you calling? Ghostbusters. Sound like a zombie. Anyway, um... <laughs> so in the first game, when you go into the, um... Into the women's bathroom to follow... Wait a minute. I knew it! Friggin' knew it. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, maybe it's the door, but it sounds like the bomb. But yeah, I, I had, like, vague memories for some reason that there was a bomb, like, up here in one of the bathrooms. So, so there you go. Apparently my memory sometimes comes through. I don't know why that was, like, one thing I remembered, but I didn't remember that Solid Snake was apparently supposed to be the bad guy and he's being set up. But whatever. I mean, the setup makes sense, right? Like, the whole Ocelot taking the picture. Anyway, I'm getting distracted here. So, in the first game, when you go into the, the women's bathroom to follow Meryl, to confront her, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you phone call, a uh, phone call, if you call a bunch of the, uh, the codec, you know, contacts, uh, some of them get really pissed at you for being in the women's bathroom. One of them in particular is mailing, like, she gets legitimately angry at you. I think she refuses to save your game until you leave the room or something like that. So what I'm saying is, I think you can do the same thing here with Rose. Nick, that's a lady's bathroom. I know that. Saw Meryl come in here. So you went in after her? Are you some kind of pervert? I won't let you save your mission now. Listen, Mei Ling, this is the only place on the base that I can talk to Meryl alone. Whatever, weirdo. Don't call me again. I can't believe you, Jack. Do you know what that place is? Okay, second time's the charm. I just thought maybe the bomb disposal instructor might be in there. Why would he be in there? Well, you never know. He's AWOL, and... Even AWOL, a normal guy wouldn't go into a woman's bathroom. Oh, shut You're up. You're the only one I know who would. You're, like, really strange. <laughs> Rosemary, settle down. You're, like, really strange. It's all right. Right. Rosemary's Ew. right. You should probably look someplace else. I can really sympathize with you there, though. <laughs> one second. Uh, nothing. Wait, right. That's that. Return to your duties. I could really sympathize you with you. You okay? Maybe we are a weirdo, considering Colonel. You know when like you do something and it, you don't think it's that weird, but then someone says something and you're like, oh, you just made it weird. The Colonel just made it weird. So I think there is another Easter egg here where you. Well, it didn't work when I called them inside the the toilet, but I think, I think you can actually 
do a thing where like they actually think you're using the bathroom or maybe you are oh hold up hold up hold up i just realized since this is the women's bathroom maybe that's the problem we're having maybe if we go in the men's bathroom then maybe it will actually work. Maybe we can't actually take a whiz in the ladies. Oh my god, how long? Maybe we can't actually take a whiz in the ladies. Hey, look. The first woman in the game that's not Japanese. You can probably tell from the fact that she's clearly not Japanese. And the Stars and Stripes, I mean... You can wear a Stars and... Oh, here we go. Maybe if we do this. You can wear a Stars and Stripes bikini when you ain't Japanese, but I'm just saying. I'm gonna go on a limp, say she's probably American. It's possible the terror. Just pee, Ryden. God damn it, man. Ryden, what are you looking at? Oh, I see. Rosemary. What? Could you excuse him for a moment? Oh, finally. You know, so he can. Ah, oh, I get it. Uh. Jack, um, let me know when you're done, okay? Mm -hmm. Is he jerking it? I thought he was peeing. I think he was jerking it, man. All right. Well, finally, I got to work. Good lord, I was staring at that urinal for so goddamn long I thought I was going to become the urinal. Like, we were just melding together, and our very atoms and beings and particles were just... Like, I was, I was becoming a urinal. Like, what the hell? Anyway, I guess that's why they call it an easter egg, because that was not easy to get to work. Hands over your head, goddammit! Freeze! It's not because you're black, it's because I don't know who you are. Before you pull the race card on me. Hold your fire! This man isn't black! What? You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. I sound like the Dopper Chief. And what happened to SEAL Team 10? Suspiciously, actually. All of them. Are you the Dopper Chief? That's bad. Like the voice actor? I'm Googling it. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. Hey, he's awake. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along. Greg Eagles, okay, thank you. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. And a piece of my sword, Eddie. So you're the bomb disposal guy. <laughs> Kid, this is THE bomb disposal guy. No Open shit, right? Exclusive disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement, then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives. Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him, in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. Yep. Same guy. I wouldn't say that. Took me a while to find that, but yes. It's the same guy who voiced... There are the two chief. people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? It's not called Peter an Stillman. An engineer? Call in your name. Skinny guy. He went in with us. Prick. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told Ooh. me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. I say there had to be him. Passed all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEALs EOD squad. Yep. So we have to do it ourselves. Well, I know where but one is. Used a bomb before. It's in the lady. Off to confer with the CO again. But yeah, that's got to be Otacon. 
or his twin brother. Solid Decon. Uh, during editing, I realized Noticon is a way better pun. Just saying. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. You keep saying that! It's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? Sneak needs to just slap the shit out of Ryder. I don't have a no disposed of a bomb. So much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Oh, hello. Yeah, look at this. See, uh, yeah, I do vaguely remember the... I don't know why I remember the bomb part so well. I think I remember where a couple of other this bombs are. This is a C4 bomb. There's one, like, on the underside of a walkway or something. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. Like on a support so beam somewhere? Last. There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bomb? Up of the mirror in a woman's bathroom, probably. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4. That's some Ghostbusters oh, shit. In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. You sleep again? Oh. That's right. I have established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. Sensor. What if he's using some other odorless substance? <laughs> I don't know why makes me laugh so much. Well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Looks like the yes. kingpin. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Weird. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. Diet and proper exercise. One. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. So Stillman, uh, done some bad shit. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. Unintentionally. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use the system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in strut C as well. Here? The one thing I love in 3, Metal Gear Solid 3, is you don't have a radar. I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. 
His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. Holy crap. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. Oh, there was like three. Exactly what he would have decided as well. No wonder we found one by mistake. And I remembered another one. Ooh. Bomb. Ooh. Bomb. Ooh. Bomb. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Oh, thank God. Take this. What's this? Security card. Issued to shell person. The key card, you moron. <laughs> what the hell? The big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors for security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. He's a big you need boy. To get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. You were supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. This is where the entire game is set, by the way, the big we'll shell. deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. Apart from the tank a bit. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. Yeah, gimpy. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Yeah, tiny Tim. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You yeah, peg like Pete. Over the radio, like in the original mission plan. Yeah, hop along, Harry. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. Yeah, peg like Percy. Luck. Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. Rodney. You plonker. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Never gonna remember that. I'm writing it down. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. You want me? That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semper Fi. Marine Corps talk. Oh. Think me to boo boo. That is very unlike Normally him. Team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Oh lord, no, he's far too incompetent. Are you kidding me? Good god. I'm... an idiot! Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. Okay, but don't you eat everything. You will end up like Fat Man. Too, so you don't need to worry about me. Oh God! I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. We'll come back and there'll just be empty pizza boxes everywhere in there, and he'll just be oh, laying on the floor in a pile. Off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. Just like <clears throat> give in to the fear, the darkness comes. There's a boss in Metal Gear Three called the Fear. He's all spidery. Oh, anyway, so Metal Gear Solid 3 doesn't have a radar, but you have a bunch of gadgets that work like aspects of the radar. So one of them is a sensor for movement near you. I think one of them is like a heartbeat sensor. There's all sorts of different, and depending on which one you want, and there's different circumstances, you can use those. It's really cool. you got to use your eyes a lot more. You know, well, I mean, I suppose you use your eyes for the radar, but you know what I'm saying. you got to use your eyes without a radar a lot more. Anyway, let's, uh, let's call them. I think it's... 140.25, I wrote it down. Nice. I hate when I open that by mistake. 
God, drives me nuts. I don't think anyone used 140.25 in the first game. It could have been Deep Throat, actually. I should check that. I don't think it was. I think it was like... I think Deep Throat's was like 8.5 or something. But considering he also voices... Um... Did I ever tell you that, by the way? I don't know if I ever explained that in the first game, but Deep Throat was uh, Grey Fox. Just in case you were wondering. I feel like... I feel like they must have revealed that at some point, because that, that's who it is. So every time you're getting help from that guy, it's it's Grey Fox. But yes, anyway. Um, considering the guy who voices the DARPA chief also voices Grey Fox, it would be kind of a nice little, very subtle nod if they used the same codec for two of the characters that he voices. But I think it was something else. I the don't know. The sensor A that I gave you is set so that the position of bombs will appear on the radar. Didn't I say that if you don't first initialize the radar, you won't get anywhere? Now search for the node. If you're not sure where the node is, ask your superior officer. He should know. Wait, why does he think he's my superior officer if he he knows that he's not... You know what I mean? Like he Oh, here we go. He called him out as being a liar, so... If I am saying he's my officer, but he knows the guy's lying, surely he now knows that I'm lying as well, you know what I mean? Maybe he's just humoring me. I don't know. Hey, there we go. We got the, the node. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, um, let's go do the, the one in the bar. Oh, I mean, we can see it anyway. But let's go do the one in the bathroom. Because obviously we know where that is. Because for once my memory worked. Where is the... Oh, there you go. There's the coolant. Well, <laughs> it's like I... Oh. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. How do I do this again? Is that working? Oh, it's working. Froze it! Five to go. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too. And not hell, he's quick. Demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Oh, I just remembered the whole thing with Rose and the bathroom and being mad at me. I think she doesn't let you save until you apologize or something, though we may have bugged it up. But if I can find a clip on YouTube, I will. Jeff, is that you? Yeah, it seems like we're fine. All right, never mind it. Jack? It must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. No, not really. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. <clears throat> Sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? You still have such a... Well? I almost threw up a few An times. Awkward relationship. But I'm okay. It's not like I'm in this alone. Oh, yeah, that's true. You still have no chemistry. What do you think about when you're defusing those things? I don't think so Kitty. much as remember. And I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. Uh, I, I mean, your I titties. Let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So, am I a part of what you try not to remember? <laughs> I was just kidding, but I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is. See what I mean? I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. Any success? No. No, not yet. So you need to stay alive so you can. Okay. That's a deal. I don't remember, by the way, what it is either, in case you're wondering. Uh, but I feel like, I mean, what what comes to mind as being the obvious one, right, is like, it's got to be the anniversary. But I feel like it's not the anniversary. Again, I don't remember, so this isn't a spoiler, but I feel like that's not it. I feel like that's way too obvious. I feel like it's something really weird and obscure or, or something. <gasps> what the hell? was nowhere near that. I demand a recount. What the hell? Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, a comment, etc, etc. Helps out a great deal. Thank you so much for the support in the series thus far. The first two episodes have gone up. You guys have been awesome. Thank you very, very much. You're awesome. And I'm now hand over to future me to give you the Patreon outro. But before I do that really quick, if you would like to become a patron, you can do so over at patreon.com slash LP. Link to the video description. Please do remember to go check out the Discord. The reason I mentioned the Discord, by the way, and I never really 
got to my point was that I actually linked a video in the Discord a while back, you'll have to scroll and look for it, uh, of the ghosts. There was like a montage, uh, like little collection thing that someone made on YouTube that I linked in the Discord of all of the ghosts from Metal Gear Solid 1. It's very interesting. So yes, if you want to see those ghosts, you can find that video in the Discord. Anyway, over to uh, the future me. I'm gonna level with you. I have no idea what that prick just said. So in case he didn't ask you to click the like button and leave a comment, please do that. If you would like to become a patron, you can do so over at patreon.com slash mrnzanlp, linked in the video description. Speaking of which, thank you very much to this month's patrons, who are KP Shadow Squirrel, Pedro Marquez, Hitbox, Blackwolf8994, Trent123, Smoke Soldier, Philip Rep, Georgia Blackwell, Luna Parker, Rex Burm, Trendigan334, Shadow Sephiroth666, Billy Nying, Nickerin, Awena1997, Bloodpire, and Miss Justice 83 Thank you, everyone. I'll see you next time for more Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty.